Uh, this is just tremendously exciting, and we couldn't be more proud. And it's really a culmination of work from a lot of people who believed that Steve's should just totally get this recognition. I think it's awesome to have Visit Sunshine Coast here because we couldn't have done it without them. There is a fee involved with the star, and so we appreciated their, their help sponsoring it. Uh, Russell Crowe wrote a letter of recommendation that Steve should get this acknowledgement, so it's just been terrific. Um, and when do you actually get to see the star itself? So we don't see it until the unveiling on April 26th. So it will be 11.30 in the morning, which is exciting because it'll be during daytime. We expect a lot of people to come. I think it's kind of sweet that the location on Hollywood Boulevard is in front of the Iguana Vintage Clothing Shop. So that's <laughs> kind of special, too. Go Iguanas. And, um, and not too far from Johnny Cash's star. So that's going to be very special. So we'll see the star on the 26th, and it'll be a huge party. What Steve thought was his recognition was recognition for conservation. And you know, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, you don't think, I want to go see a conservationist star. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really come to mind. So I think he would have thought it was really cool for his message and that it's a tremendous bringing mainstream of the message of conservation. So we know that everyone needs to admire and improve and talk about our conservation work around the world. But Dad was amazing because with what he did, he was able to reach through people's living rooms and just say, come love these beautiful animals, get involved, make a difference, check out how cute and cuddly crocodiles really can be. And that's so special. And it's something that, you know, he will always be the greatest dad on planet Earth to us. But he also affected so many lives all over the world. So that is a really special legacy. And that's why we're so excited. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> so I'll take it all of you are going to be there for the unveiling? Yes, yeah. we're all going to be there. And we may have some surprise visitors yeah, as well. We've, we've actually going to be bringing some really fun animal guests with us. So we've got some awesome Australian animals that will be at the start. So it's just going to be a huge celebration. We've got some of our, our nearest and dearest family from Australia and we're just going to be celebrating everything that Dad loved, his passion for wildlife, and it's just going to be an awesome day. We're and so excited. Just to super clarify, we have a lovely friend in Los Angeles with some Australian animals. We're not taking them with no. us. No. So, no. so we're doing the big flight, and the animals are waiting for us there going, come on, let's party. So that's <laughs> going to be really fun. <laughs> that's exciting. It is really incredible to have this recognition in the United States because there are just so many Americans, you know, over 300 million, I think, at the last count. And to be able to bring a message of conservation and of Australia. He was such a proud Australian, and so many people were inspired to come visit our beautiful country and our state and right here on the Sunshine Coast to see Australia Zoo. And he would say, I hope people are coming here to see my beautiful wildlife. And I, I think the feeling overall was just this real pride that he had in Australia. And if he could bring that message to America and the world, that's what was so important. But you know, everyone loves the star. When you go to LA, you go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame and you see everybody's stars. And for us, not only is it an important thing for America, but also for the world. Having a star is certainly going to keep Steve and his message forefront in people's minds. And people all over the world love him. There's nowhere I can't go where I, I, I can't say crocodile hunter and they're like, oh, Steve. And some places I go, they call me Mrs. Belonga Steve, which is cute. And our number one per capita viewership is Poland. So it really is a surprising worldwide reach. And yes, all the people who see that star are going to remember Steve and, and think about what he stood for. So that's really special. What's your reaction? Look, on behalf of, this is all about Steve and the Irwin family today. This has been quite an adventure for Visit Sunshine Coast and Russell Crowe. He's played a, a big part of this too. It was, it's, it's been very much a partnership and um, one that we've been absolutely delighted to be part of. So to have gone down that road over a number of years uh, um, to get that presentation through back by some by both us and Russell Crowe and to get it uh, Steve recognised in this way, it's such a wonderful uh, representation for the Sunshine Coast. 
Sure, it's about wildlife. We totally get the wildlife story. We're standing right in the middle of it. And that's such an incredibly important part of the Sunshine Coast, but it's also about the Sunshine Coast. And to answer your question, Steve Irwin and the Irwin family, and I'm standing next to a little rock star who, you know, amongst other things, won Dancing with the Stars in the United States last year, probably achieving something that most people probably thought she couldn't do. And isn't that, it's not just typical Irwin, it's typical Sunshine Coast. And at the moment, the whole region is just in this place where we go and get Sunshine Coast Lightning and we take out the grand final first year. Bindi wins Dancing with the Stars. We've now got recognition for, you know, someone that is the true hero of the Sunshine Coast. We've got a road named after him. We all drove down it. So now to have this in one of the largest countries of the world, which is incredibly important to us, not just from a wildlife point of view and all of the marvellous work, but about letting people know who the Sunshine Coast is, it's no longer a secret. It's one of the best destinations on the planet. We know it, that's why we live here. And the Irwins have played an amazing role in all sorts of ways in creating that awareness. People cannot go on a holiday to a destination they don't know of and they can't buy what they don't know exists. This family, and Steve in particular, has played an amazing role. What an appropriate way to recognise that achievement by that being laid down in, in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And for our small part in it, uh, we have been absolutely delighted and proud, and I would like to think the entire Sunshine community, Sunshine Coast community, would see this as very, very fitting and appropriate for you. Thanks, Simon. Thank you. Steve was so proud to be from here, and I, I think that's what is really going to light up the star when we're there next week. It's going to be fantastic.